Hello Internet, Stabby Brit here, and it turns out Bell of Lost Souls is circling the drain and in a desperate search of clickbait. So they brought out this. Now, I took a look at this article, gave them the click they wanted. Take it from me, it's not worth your time. No matter what side of this debate you are on, this is not an article worth looking at. This would make an unengaging forum post. Never mind an actual content article. The vast majority of it is just taken up by pictures. And not exactly inventive pictures, it's just generic space marine nonsense. So, it's not worth your time. It's essentially an argument that boils down to Games Workshop need to make Primaris female because it's going to happen anyway. I mean, what kind of a fucking argument is that? Really? You know, as somebody who actually does want female marines in 40k, that is the most piss-poor attempt at making the argument I have ever heard. And it's the wrong argument. Games Workshop have to because it's going to happen anyway is bullshit. You can actually argue for things that are unpopular in a good way. And I hate to dive into full-on Godwin's law, but no better example can I think of than anything set in World War II. You know, why do you want this World War II game to be full of Nazis wearing swastikas? The swastika is a hate symbol. Well, that might be true, say I. However, I would like this experience to be as historically accurate as possible, with acceptable breaks in reality made for entertainment purposes. And within those contexts, it's unrealistic to have people who would have worn the swastika not wearing the swastika. That's a good way to basically argue for having the swastika in a board game, or a film, or a video game, or whatever. Do you know what's a really shit way of arguing for including the swastika in Call of Duty World War II, for example? I want the swastika because it'll piss off the Jews. That's not how you argue for this, and that's basically what Bell of Lost Souls is doing here. It's essentially the, it's going to happen anyway, and fuck everyone who says otherwise. Well, Bell of Lost Souls, that is not how you make an argument, and that is not how you convince people. It simply isn't. I mean, if it's going to happen, and there's no guarantee it will, but if it is going to happen, it probably will be Primaris. Because that is the most obvious compromise between the people who want the new stuff, they want female marines, they don't know or care about the old law, and the old guard who do care about the law and want the status quo maintained. And believe me, I've talked, I lose track of how many times I have met somebody and talked to them. I've, I encounter them at work, just random people who are like, oh yeah, I got, I got back into 40k for 8th edition. So clearly, there are a lot of old guard out there who will have an opinion on this, and probably a strong opinion because it's, the, it's a divisive topic. But here's the thing, and here's the, the argument get Games Workshop probably would listen to, but it's the argument that people like Bell of Lost Souls won't make. Here it is. Victoria Miniatures is making female Space Marine heads. There are third parties out there making what are essentially female Space Marines in all but name. Third parties. So if I want a female Space Marine army, if I want a whole army, you know, that's what, 200 quid for a 2,000 point army? 200 pounds worth of uh, content that I might buy from Games Workshop. Except I want female marines. And I'm a really fucking staunch intersectional feminist on this issue. And I will absolutely not support in any way any company that will not give me exactly what I want. Well, third parties. I mean, the best they can hope for is that I will buy their Games Workshop products and then give some money to Victoria Miniatures or someone like that. So, maybe they'll still get the sale. However, even in that case, you've allowed how much money to just go strolling out the door? If, if this person is buying £200 worth of Space Marines and then, I don't know, £50 worth of conversion pieces from Victoria? That's £50 that Games Workshop could have had. But they chose not to, because they didn't sell the parts this person wanted. And this is... This is the kind of thinking that has led to Kill Team. This is why 
Horus Heresy is being discontinued to make room for Necromunda and the Blood Bowl and other specialist games. The money said to do it. The money said only fucking idiots are actually spending £60 on a five-man Horus Heresy squad. But lots of people will spend £30 on a Blood Bowl team or a Necromunda warband. So that's what you're making from now on. It's the same thing here. There are absolutely valid economic arguments for making female marines. And believe me, if, if you think they're not going to do it out of respect for the law, <laughs> wow, you're new here. Because the law can bend over and don't bother asking for lube, it's not going to get it. Games Workshop never gave a shit about the law before. They obviously don't give a shit about it now because, you know, the Primaris exist. Belisarius Call, Supreme Grand Master of every field of science in the known universe and several unknown universes. Uh, he violates the law in every respect. R robust girly man just springing back to life because an Eldar farted somewhere. Games Workshop do not care about the law. They care about what makes them money. And I'm sorry, I, I sympathise with the, the die-hard purists, I really do. I used to be a much more of a law purist, uh, until I basically lost all faith in Games Workshop and 40k. But the money says to do this, the money says female space marines. So, it's probably going to happen. Uh, if, you, if you really, really want this to stop, if you honestly care a great deal about this and you sincerely believe this will be a net detriment to the hobby that the inclusion of female space marines in any form will cause significant lasting damage to 40k as a brand and as a consumer product you need to couch it in those terms you need to be making the economic arguments you basically need to be getting petitions together because because the people who say oh if, if they make if they make female space marines i'm quitting 40k forever <laughs> right good for you mate there's the door bye bye you need to you can't make statements like that it's fucking meaningless you you need to have a strong voice you need you need thousands of people saying this loudly you need like petitions you need People coming together and basically saying to Games Workshop in the strongest terms, ideally economic terms, we will boycott your product if you do this. That's the only language they speak. And the fact that... The fact that people won't do it. <laughs> I'm calling it now. People won't do it. Uh... You can you can walk away by all means, and maybe enough people will walk away that they'll see a dip, but it won't be a crash. This will not be that much of a deal breaker for the vast majority of people in the hobby. And there might actually be a tiny number of people, a tiny, minuscule, like one in ten thousand, you know, like about the same number of people who actually like Robo Gilliman. You know, that level of people who will actually come into the hobby as a result of female marines. But even if they even if they lose some, you know, they they've had such success with eighth edition, they can take the hit. You you need you need losses on the level of seventh edition. You know, the the mass exodus from the hobby, the number of people who just said fuck this and walked away. The the kind of shift that spawned 8th edition in the first place. That's the kind of economic pressure you need to be putting on Games Workshop if you really don't want this to happen. Because otherwise, it's coming. That's where I put my money. Games Workshop is, Games Workshop is not going to just let you walk off and give your money to other people. Not when it's so easy. So easy for them to cash in. Anyway, that's my thoughts on this uh, whole debacle. Stabby Brit, signing out.